cute! Oh, diba? Ang tari ng pailok sa likod. Gusto mo yun. Run me the money Cause I be What I be Wait, 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 wait. Uh, hey, baddies, what is up? It is me. Gagong kit ko ngayon. But anyway, me, Joshi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and if you're new here, hi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pasok na kayo, pasok na kayo. If you guys don't know, ngayon manalaman nyo na. Some of us, including me, hindi tayo nabiyayaan sa sobrang pakak na mukha or pakak na katawan, pakak na hype. Like my hype. But you know what? Everyone's beautiful. Fuck the unrealistic standard. We are beautiful in our own fucking way. We were born to be unique. So going back to my height, oh my god, so bro, sensitive new topic na yun kasi. Aww. Hindi ako sobrang tangkad. Mukha lang ako matangkad sa mga photos ko, pero hindi ako sobrang tangkad. If you guys don't know, I'm only 5'4". Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going to expose myself. I'm going to teach you guys, I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to look tall on your photos and in your outfits as well. I've been doing this, I don't know, since way, way back, way back, way back. Sobra tagal ko nang ginagawa mga tricks na to. It's all about the illusion, like the perfect, perfect illusion. illusion. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing. Showstopping, spectacular, and insanely unique. Now I'm gonna show you guys. But before that, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel because if you haven't subscribed yet, hindi ko na nito turo, hindi ko na papayas sa inyo. Di ba kaya subscribe? So might as well subscribe, bitch, so you will be part of the baddie family. Period. So how to look tall in your outfit? Hindi mo kailangan ng height surgery or knee surgery. Hindi mo na kailangan mag cherry fur kasi ito wala pa pa kailangan sa yung sobrang dalila. It's gonna cost you zero pesos. This works both ways, ba? This can work on your casual outfit and this will work on your formal outfit or anything extra na outfits. It's all about the shape, the color, and most importantly, the silhouette. The same na may shape sa silhouette. I think the same again. First is the color. Normally, color blocking talaga yung magehelp sa yung magbukang tall or flattering in your outfit. So normally, what I do, I normally wear, siguro minsan a bold color top or sometimes printed or siguro may pattern na top. It may be long sleeve or short sleeve. Masaya yung top mo yung focus tapos. Sometimes neutral color na pants. It may be black, white, or brown, but anything na hindi magka-clash sa outfit mo. Kung nakuha mo na yung color ng outfit mo, you will now work on the shape or the silhouette of your outfit. So basically, pwede mo i-tuck in yung outfit mo para mas mukhang flattering yung shape. So when you tuck it in, may dating na yung shape mo. So parang hindi na siya ganun siguro, I don't know, ka-bulky yung dating or sobrang loose. So you can tuck the shirt in or you can do a French tuck. Medyo na yung initang kapag nagka-tuck in ka. You can do a French tuck. So you just tuck in the front part of your shirt sa loob ng pants mo. With this type of technique, this really gives the silhouette effect. So yun na, she may silhouette effect somehow. Or if you're feeling a little extra, you can roll up your sleeves. Sleeves para mas dagdag na parang mm, effect. And also, with your pants, you wear something like yung straight cut na pants. Do not wear fitted pants. Yung mga parang ano, ano may parang mukha na siya leggings type. Do not wear those. Those are, oh my god, I cannot wear those pants. But you can wear some straight cut na pants. Or siguro yung mga denim pants. You can just roll up yung bottom part ng pants. Parang magmukhang elongated ba yung legs mo. At least man, pumukha ko parang cute somehow. So here's the bonus part. If you're feeling a little extra, you can add some accessories like corset to add na mas mumuha kang mahaba sa photos mo or you can add a belt para mas mag somehow makomplete lang yung entire outfit if you wanna try to look talaga long with your outfit you can wear some neutral shoes like white, black, brown, anything like that or you can match your shoes with your pants as well and also para makuha talaga yung illusion ng silhouette effect God, you can wear bags na small bags or backpacks na maliliit hindi yung talagang yung parang kakainin ka because honey, remember 
you wear the clothes, the clothes doesn't wear you. Okay? Period. And also add a few dainty accessories like small rings or pwede rin mga chunky rings if whatever feel mo or you can add siguro mag layer ka rin mga necklace. So moving on, after the casual, of course, meron tayong formal or action outfit. Yung mga sinabi ko before with the casual outfit, you, you can apply those to their formal outfits. Also, when it comes to the tops and bottoms, pwede rin vice versa. Pwede yung bottoms mo yung may print or may pattern. And pwede yung top mo yung medyo neutral. That really gives this silhouette effect and huwag mo ka talaga matangkat pag ganun. So as long as siguro hindi nagka-clash yung top and bottom mo, yun talaga yung mag-help magmukhang elongated sa mga photos. Always get the color and the shape of your outfit. So when you get the color na, you can just work on with the shape. But so important, just play around with your silhouettes talaga. Kasi ito talaga yung magtetest sa'yo, lalo na sa mga fashion outfits mo. Yung talaga, just play around with your silhouette. Fashion is supposed to be fun. Alam ko naman, walang rules sa fashion. If you wanna look lang talaga flattering or somehow tall, you can try these tips that I just gave to y'all. Kaya nakakaingit yung mga matatangka day. They can literally wear anything and still look tall. Unlike us small people, girl, and dami nating adjustment na mga ginagawa. So, looking tall in your photos. Ito talaga yung pinaka-catfish moment talaga sa inyo lahat. So, first, of course, there is yung poses. Yung pose talaga yung magbibigay ng impact dito sa photos mo on how to look tall in your photos. So, normally, when standing, siguro standing yan, standing ka lang, wala siyang, uh, wala siyang, Hindi ka makumatangkad, di ba? So parang ang sad lang, parang ang dull na tingnan na nakatayo ka lang dyan. Wala ba lang dating yung tayo mo. So, might as well do a pose na mumuha ka matangkad. So, by doing that, you just try putting your other leg forward. Then, siguro quarter view ka ng konti sa upper body mo. And then, bam! Ayan, nakastanding is okay, but doing a pose is a different thing. Or sometimes, you can try doing by crossing your legs while standing up, something you pose like that, at sa gumawa ka pa matangkad kahit gumagalo yung paa mo. And you can also stretch out your hands as well para sa sama may ginagawa din yung ibang parts ng katawan mo. May nagpo-pose din sila. So, sabi nga ni Tyra, di ba? Pose from head to toe. Okay. And also, there's another pose yung naka-upo ka or like sitting down. Always try to like, you know, stretch out your legs, then lean backward. Or sometimes, you can like lean forward, then cross your legs then as well. Posing sa other posing naman, pag naka kasandal ka sa table or whatever or chair whatever man pwede kang sigurong mag-lean then you cross mo ng konti yung legs mo kasi ang awkward pag nakatayo ko lang sa kalin ka lang so parang that's not gonna give a very flattering photo you might as well cross your body or stretch out your neck something like that anything na pwede magmukhang elongated ka sa photo the second one is angles eh yung angle talaga yung talagang magigive ng somehow ibang effects sa photos. Eh mo ka ba talaga nakakatulong talaga yung angle sa mga photos mo? Tingnan mo yung mga Instagrammer. Even photographers, they use the right angle, the perfect angle talaga magmukhang flattering sa photo. So normally when standing up, when doing a standing pose, try putting your phone nang medyo mababa. Then i-tilt mo ng konti pa taas. Eh yung magmumukha ka talaga mataga. I swear. What sobra ko OA. Oh, yung wag yung magmumukha kang building. Not like that. If you're trying to take a OODD, try doing yung medyo nakababang angle ng konti and bam, girl, you have a thickening OODD. So while sitting down, try mo i-angle dun sa parang view ng paa mo. You know what I mean? So parang parang worms eye view somehow. So parang tilt your phone upward. So parang high parang pataas na angle siya konti. Pwede din, pag nakalean backward ka sa chair mo, you can always do yung parang high na angle. Basta huwag mo mukha kang elongated sa photo na yun. That's gonna help you look cute lang na pag nakaupo ka. Alam niyo yung grid? Alam niyo yung grid sa mga camera nyo or sa mga DSLR? Yung grid sa camera, yung parang tic-tac-toe. Gamitin nyo yun. Sobrang helpful nun kasi whenever I take some old TV photos, I make sure na nagagamit ko yun kasi you can use two boxes na nasa gitna ng grid. Itapat mo dun yung sarili mo, yung buong katawan mo, itapat mo dun. And mag mukha kang matangkad. Then, bam! Girl, mukha ka nang matangkad sa photo mo. Ayun. Kala nyo lang walang pakinabang yung mga grid na yun. Nakakatulog. And also, sometimes pag nakalihin ka sa wall, tapos kanyang half body lang yung gusto mong kunan ng photo, itapat mo pa rin yung ulo mo dun sa dalawang grid na boxes na yun. Makakatulog yun. Nakaka-flatter. So, I hope these tips and tricks help you guys from achieving your very Instagram worthy photos kasi alam ko naman ang nonsense naman to pero still if you wanna like pursue things like this 
might as well get a good angle in your photos even though hindi ka professional photographer yeah i hope you guys enjoy this tips and tricks video comment down below kung ano pa yung gusto niyong malaman na tips and tricks and yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i will see you guys in my next video i love you all so so, so much make sure to like share and subscribe give this video a big thick thumbs up bye kisses juices Bye. Wait, 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 wait.